Emily was born prematurely, uh, eight weeks early, and uh, was born with cerebral palsy. We didn't realise she had cerebral palsy until um, we were suspicious at about the age of one when she wasn't progressing as she should have been physically and wasn't walking. And so after uh, seeing a paediatrician, Emily was um, unfortunately diagnosed with cerebral palsy. And we weren't sure at that stage whether she was ever going to walk. It was quite a distressing time. Um, I was put in touch with a charity um, very quickly who encouraged us to go and see a physiotherapist and said, actually, I think she'd benefit from splints. And I, I can't remember the name of the charity, and I wish I could right now, um, but that charity, they, they brought us to the London Orthotic Consultancy and it was them that encouraged the use of splints. Two years ago, I was a bit... Um, and a few years ago before that, I was a bit, like, I felt, like, a little bit weird and, and embarrassed, but then I got used to them. I forget about that I'm wearing them sometimes. Emily's muscles naturally are very, very tight. And so it, it, she was going on her tiptoes and not able to walk, she didn't have that strength. So by coming here, we were made aware of the fact that by wearing splints alongside having physio, having specific orthotics uh, to, to support her legs uh, would, at first, the, the whole purpose was help her to walk. Um, and then it became apparent that actually the use of orthotics not only would help her to walk, but help her to walk in the right way, help to stretch the muscles, and help prevent any major uh, growth deformities as she turns into a young lady. It's good because um, I have known her for ages. So. It's like part of the family, and we do joke about that. There's a couple of people that have been involved in Emily's care since she was one years old and one is your physiotherapist and the other one is Sam and they've been on a journey with us and you know and this journey is continuing you know she's only eight from the start I've always felt very comfortable coming here anyway but I just know that you know we come in here yes there's a bit of a routine so the first thing will be sure they'll check her walking see how she's progressing make amendments recommend new splints or whatever it is that we're doing um, but we can be very honest um, you know if there's things that are worrying us or, or there's something that we just don't know where we should be going next. You know, it's a very open relationship. Um, but it's all very relaxed and um, yet yeah, professional. You know, I couldn't be happy. I think what's really interesting is Emily's warmth when you wear as a one year old or two or three year old wearing splints is just, if you're wearing them from that age, it's just normal. And, but then you reach an age and, and we were, warned about this that when you get to about five or six you can as a child you become a little bit more conscious your world is changing and you're suddenly with other children less so with mum and dad because you're at school and you can become a little bit more self-conscious of your body and I know that Emily went through a bit of this what was really interesting was it was at that time she was having a bit of some surgery and um, and so there was a lot going on for Emily uh, not just physically growing and changing but also you know mentally and as parents, you know, we were concerned that, that maybe her lack of suddenly wanting to wear own splints, it would have been easy for us to say, OK, don't wear them. And we approached Sam on this at the time and said, look, you know, we're a little bit concerned. We, we know how important it is that she wears her orthotics, but she's very conscious of her body at the moment. And it was a phase she went through and he was brilliant. And he said, OK, well, you know, let's look at other options here. Let's see what we can do to make um, her time at school more enjoyable. And that's important. That's as important as getting the physical side right for us. Normally, um, we come here and then we come in this room and we do a few runs on this platform here. So. You do some walking, don't you, back yeah. and forth? So if I have a problem, like if they were hurting at all, I would come here I could tell Sam and then he would fix them. You know, wearing orthotics, her body grows, she changes. You know, she's a young lady, shoes are fashionable, so it's about wearing, getting them to fit in the right shoes and fitting in with friends and looking great when she goes out and not just at school. And there's this flexibility about what they look like, what they feel like. Uh, the comfort of them, you know, there's, there's a lot of factors to take into account. It's not as simple as, oh, we can make this child walk well, off you go. It's, it's much more complex than that. <laughs>